Good morning guys. Um, today is Wednesday. I have just finished my night shift. Can you tell? I don't think I look that bad to be honest. Um, you just got home from work. Um, the traffic is great at the minute. Um, obviously with no schools, most people staying at home. Doesn't take me too long at all to get home from work. Um, it's not been a bad night shift. Feels like forever but um, we actually haven't seen that many patients tonight which is good yeah which is good um so quite a steady shift busy but steady i'm rambling now because i'm so tired i'm gonna head inside um see if david and the kids are up and obviously david's working from home same like yesterday david working from home and the kids will be having to do some schoolwork. i'm heading to bed i'm gonna get a couple of hours sleep and then see what happens this afternoon. It looks like it's gonna be a lovely day today. The sun is out, blue skies. It's freezing though, it's still really cold at the minute. The temperatures haven't quite warmed up yet, but yeah, blue skies and I'm hoping it's gonna be a sunny afternoon. Get some lots of washing done, hang the washing outside. Yeah, so rock and roll, aren't I? Bet you're glad you're watching this. It's the rock and roll lifestyle of a mum. A working mum. So yeah, rambling again. Off to bed now. Um, yeah, and I will catch you when I wake up. Good afternoon, guys. It's been a while since I spoke to you. Um, I have been to bed had about four hours sleep, and um, not a great sleep to be honest. And I woke up with the worst headache in the world. So I did not want to pick up the camera before. I've now had some lunch, had a coffee, and just chilling out in the sun for a bit. I need to go and help Emily with some coursework in a minute. We've got loads of washing on the washing line because the sun is shining and it's really quite warm today. There's still a quite a bit of a chilly breeze, but it's really lovely. I'm a bit of a sun worshipper, always have been. Love, love the sun. That's why I like Florida so much, I suppose. And there's a little dude now. Hi. Hello. Come say hello. Hello. Come down here. You alright? Yep. Come lie down. Have a chat. I came down here to look up my den. Okay. Harry's got a den at the back of our garden, which he absolutely loves, don't you? That daddy made for you, out of all sorts yep. of different things. There used to be a big pile of chairs there, didn't there? Yeah. The garden's a bit of a mess really, but like I said yesterday, I'm not spending loads of money on it. Yeah, so Harry's been doing school and I've been asleep. What school the work have we done today? Uh, some reading. Yeah. Showing. He's done the body coach, uh, Joe Wick's PE lesson. Yeah. I love those PE lessons. Yeah. yeah. And he's also been watching somebody called Maddie Moat. Yeah, haven't you? Yeah. And Harry was on, on Maddie Moat this morning. He was very excited. Because I was standing right and over so there. Our fossils that we made yesterday, because it's Maddie's doing about dinosaurs, Harry featured on Maddie Moat. Uh, before we go, we want to see more of your fossil fun. So let's have a look at some more pictures of your fossils. All right, so here Harry made his own as well, and he used salt dough, which is a great idea. Good thing to use for fossil making. Um, yeah, so he was on Maddie Moat, and he absolutely loved it. He's been trying to get himself on there for a while. She is brilliant, she's been teaching the kids loads of stuff and she's a science teacher for obviously Harry's age group which is 7 and 8 year olds. Um, you've been doing online maths this morning haven't you? Yeah? And then playing in the garden, having some lunch. This is life in lockdown. Hello, just heading off for a walk again. The kids are determined for me to see these lambs. Um, yeah, so that's where we're heading again, going to see the lambs. Uh, really needed to move today. Still got a headache and not feeling too great. So hopefully this might help. A bit of fresh air, uh, a bit of family time and then go home for dinner. Yeah, so looking forward to dinner. I feel like we're in an episode of Planet Earth and I'm David Attenborough. They're a bit dirty, these sheep, today. Oh, 
big barn. So I'm making them go for a much longer walk. Can you see he's overjoyed in the background? Yes. Not really. It's a beautiful evening out though, so good job when we're needing to get out for one piece of exercise. It wouldn't be so pleasant if it was just raining, we'd be absolutely gutted and stuck in the house all the time. Yes, Harry? I'm not happy. Why are you not happy? That's a surprise. What's the matter? They don't want to go to the spa. I'm not going to the spa. Oh. Harry's complaining about the distance that I'm taking him. All they do is sit in the house all day. I'm taking, making them go for like two mile walk, if that. Right, about two miles, and all they do is complain. But it's beautiful. Getting a bit hot now walking this way in the sun. Is it quite nice and warm? Yeah, it's hot. Have you had a good day at work? Yeah, busy. How was your commute? A oh, long day. Long commute today. He goes from his bed to the shower to the chair. Yeah, saves the two hour round trip. Oh, sorry, one hour round trip. Yeah. So, yeah. I quite like this working from home business. Back from the walk. All tired. The kids are demanding their dinner. I don't think it's going to be a quick job. It never is around here. So, we are finally having chicken and bacon salad. Yay. I'm going to get on with some potatoes. I saw a recipe, a quick recipe on Pinterest. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. I'm going to wing it. Um, it's a parmesan potato. Yeah. You know I'm not the best cook. I'm just going to see how it goes. So if we need to slice the potatoes. Oh. Not slice your finger. I'll just slice the top of my nail off. <laughs> so it's sliced potatoes, um, olive oil, Grated parmesan cheese, some salt and pepper, some paprika, and some garlic. So basically, you slice the potatoes and you put it all on the tray. And you're supposed to have crispy potatoes at the end of it. Give it a go. What have we got to lose? So, there is the finished crispy, cheesy potato products. Do you mind? I'm filming. <laughs> Everybody else increasing their volume of alcohol? Yeah, so there's the crispy parmesan, cheesy, garlicky potatoes. And we have crispy chicken and bacon. Ah, that plate's hot. It's been crispy chicken and bacon. We've got some, apologies, our place settings are not good. Some garlic bread, some salad, and Harry's got pasta. You're not going to eat chicken? No, so we've got some yummy pasta instead. Let's eat up! Dinner has just been abandoned because we're waiting for a Hercules aircraft. Ah, I can't see it. What? Apparently we need to run to the front. Oh. Hercules aircraft? So did ah! Get in me! So dinner was lovely. We had a bit of an interruption with the Hercules. I don't know if you can hear in that background that noise. Emily, she's trying to make us one of those iced coffee things that everyone seems to be making at the minute with the whipped coffee on top. Ah! Got Sorry. to be kidding me. Sorry, just an accident. Yeah, proper accident. Um, so we will see how our coffee goes. Let's see what she's up to in there, shall we? It smells incredible! There we go. It's our coffee. I don't know what the name's called. Dralog or Dra Dragoni coffee or something? I don't know. Let's see how it goes though. It smells incredible. Not a bad first attempt though. 
think it needs a bit more whipping. Every time I try and start filming, that girl switches a blender on. She is making another coffee for David. Yeah, it's not too bad. The coffee is really nice. She could work a little bit on a presentation, but it's not bad for a first attempt really. I don't think any of us are going to be sleeping tonight. It's, um, yeah, <laughs> it's got a lot of coffee in it. So I think it's got two tablespoons of coffee, two tablespoons of sugar, two tablespoons of hot water to mix it. You blend it together and then you add it with milk. It's sin free. Obviously, it's sin free. She's still whisking away back there. So we have just had dinner. Obviously you saw the interruption of the Hercules aircraft. Obviously we are all playing mad around here. Um, maybe Emily not so much, but David and I especially, and Harry, um, we are a little bit of, of aviation geeks. So yeah, sorry about the light. It'll adjust again in a minute. Yeah, so we are aviation geeks. That is how David and I met. We met working at the airport together um, and we have a very much of a shared interest of aircraft. Um, so yeah, we had to interrupt ourselves while watching the Hercules fly over. It did it go around, I only saw it once. We thought we'd fly around again and then do it again, but it only did it the one time. Um, tonight we're just gonna chill out. David is running a bath for Harry. And then we're gonna chill out and watch the rest of Tiger King. I'm not quite sure what to make of that. It's crazy, but I do need to watch the end of it. I need to find out what happens towards the end of it. Um, life is just a little bit like the Truman Show, but I suppose normal life like that, whether in lockdown or not, um, it's a matter of either I go to work or I get up and go for a run and then help the kids with school in. This is kind of what it's like. I suppose when you're not in lockdown, there is the little bit in between where you could maybe just nip to the shops or have a mooch or go to a restaurant, meet some friends. There is that side of it that's obviously different. I am enjoying a little bit of lockdown. I know people are gonna hate me, but I do enjoy just not having the, just not having that pressure of having to go somewhere, of having to entertain the kids and take them out somewhere and spend lots of money on going to Alton Towers or Chester Zoo or just taking them out anywhere, going to a cafe, going to a restaurant. I love not having that pressure of having to take the kids somewhere and spend some money that I don't always have. Um, or having to just entertain them. Entertain them in the home, get them out for a walk. It just feels so much more wholesome. And, I, and to be honest, I'm enjoying it for my days off. I don't have any pressures. I just go to work, come home and enjoy my days off without then having to think of other things to do. So I am loving that. So I'm gonna go and see what Emily's getting up to in the kitchen and seeing how her creation for days is gone. And then I'll be asleep at about midnight after this. But it's lovely. Cheers. 